You have probably been there, working on a feature, then trying to merge it back into main and suddenly conflicts everywhere. Now the big question pops up, should I merge or rebase? Let's break it down in simple terms, git merge versus git rebase, what they are, how they work and when to use which. And hey, if you have watched my earlier videos on git workflows, you already have the foundation. If not, no worries, I'll link it in the description below. Let's get started. Let's say you are working with two branches. The main branch commits A, B, and then C. And your feature branch branched off from A with commits D and E. At this point, your team might have already pushed B and C to main while you were working on D and E. Now you want to bring your feature back into the main line. So do you merge or rebase? Let's look at both visually and conceptually. With git merge, you simply combine the two branches. Think of it like joining two rivers. They converge at a new point. So you run git checkout main followed by git merge feature. Now git creates a new commit. Let's call it E prime, which ties together both histories. No changes to existing commits, just a new merge commit that says, hey, I joined feature and main here. So here the commits D and E stay exactly as they were. Their commit IDs remain unchanged. This means the original branching structure and all commit metadata, timestamps, authorship, etc. is fully preserved. And that's why they say merge preserves history. And the downside, it can get messy. So let's say you're working on a team of five developers. Everyone creates a feature branch from main and merges back in after their work is done. So your history might look like this after a few merges. Here, F1 to F6 are feature commits from different branches. M1, M2, M3 are merge commits. But when you run git log online graph, you'll see a tangled tree of branches and merge points. Yes, everything is there, but it's hard to follow who did what, when, and why. You might see duplicate commits, merge noise, or commits out of the order. That's what we mean by messy history. With rebase, you replay everyone's work one after another in a straight line. Easy to read, easy to bisect, and easy to debug. But again, it comes with trade-off of rewriting history, which isn't safe in shared branches. Now let's talk about rebase. Instead of joining two branches like rivers, rebase moves your commits and places them on top of the current main. You run git checkout feature followed by git rebase main. Git reapplies those commits D and E as new commits on top of C. So now your history looks like A, B, C, D prime followed by E prime, a straight line, like it was always written that way. The good, it's cleaner history and easier to follow. However, we are rewriting history. Now, when you run git rebase main from your feature branch, git replays your commit D and E on top of C. But in doing so, git creates new commits, not reuses the old one. So even though the code may be the same, the rebased commits are a, B, C, D prime, and E prime. D prime and E prime are new versions of D and E. They have new commit IDs. And technically, D and E, the originals, are no longer part of the main history. So yes, your feature is still there, but the original timeline is rewritten. And that's why we say rebase rewrites history. Git is smart. It keeps them around for a while in case you want to undo or recover. They are stored in what's called reflog or reference log which tracks all recent changes. But after a certain time, usually 30 days, if they are unreachable, Git's garbage collector, Git GC, will eventually remove them to free up space. Now, technically, the original D and E still exist temporarily in your repo until Git cleans them up with garbage collection. They are not immediately deleted, but they are not referenced anymore. If you have already pushed your branch and others are using it, rebasing can cause major issues. So never rebase shared branches unless you are confident everyone is aligned. Both merge and rebase can trigger conflicts, especially when two branches touch the same line. With merge, you resolve conflicts once in the merge commit. With rebase, you might resolve conflicts in each commit as Git reapplies them one by one. That's why many teams prefer merge for safety and rebase for local cleanup. Let's say you are working on a checkout flow. You branched off main last week and since then, your teammate added coupon support and pushed it to main. 
Before you open your PR, you run git fetch origin and then git rebase origin main. So now your work sets on top of their changes, clean and conflict free. Your PR shows only your commits, which is super neat. But if you are collaborating with others on the same feature branch, stick with merge. Here are a few tips. You use merge when collaborating on shared branches. Use rebase before opening a PR to tidy up your local commits. And avoid rebasing public branches unless you coordinate with your team. And finally, use git pull rebase to reduce merge commits when pulling from remote. Bonus tip, use git log online graph to visualize the difference between the two styles. So merge or rebase, it depends on your team's workflow and what you care about, clarity or safety. Merge keeps history intact, but can get messy. Rebase rewrites history for a cleaner log, but you have got to use it with care. And if you want to master more Git magic, check out my earlier video on Git workflows, feature branching, trunk based development, all that good stuff. And if this video made Git a little less scary, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to ByteMark, and let me know in the comments for more dev friendly breakdown like this. See you in the next one.